Fora TV. The world is thinking. Let me tell you a story. Back in 1948, in the state of California, there were anti-miscegenation laws. And those laws said that people of different races could not marry. In most states in the nation, there were anti-miscegenation laws, something like 40 out of the 50 states. A couple, black and white, wanted to get married, and nobody would take their case. Not the American Civil Liberties Union, not the NAACP, you know, on and on through all of them. So where did they go to finally get some help? They went to their church. They went to the Roman Catholic Church. And the Roman Catholic Church went to court in Los Angeles in 1948, and they challenged it, and it was the first state that overthrew anti-miscegenation laws on the basis of equal protection and, and due process. <clears throat> it took the rest of the United States 20 years until 1967, until Loving versus Virginia, a U.S. Supreme Court case, at which time there were still about 20 states in the Union that had anti-miscegenation laws, to find that it also violated the U.S. Constitution. And that was the end of now people could marry between races as of 1967 in all of these United States. <clears throat> so where are we today on gay marriage? Hopefully we're not 20 years away from that U.S. Supreme Court decision, but we're still quite a ways away from it. The California Supreme Court, I think, came, with, came up with a narrow reading of its own process for amending its own constitution. I don't understand how a constitution can be amended by 51% of citizens. Look at what we had to do with the Equal Rights Amendment, where we needed two-thirds of both houses of Congress and two-thirds of the states. And we got through all of that to just the last state. This was a Republican platform since the 1920s that women uh, are, are equal uh, under the law. And we got to the last state, and Phyllis Shafley and some others uh, were able to stop it. That was, that was two-thirds. How can 51% of voters create a, an amendment like this? So I'm disturbed by my own state's constitutional procedure, but it is what it is, and that's why the Supreme Court decided the way they decided, I think.